Hi, I'm Danilo. I have 12 subscribers on YouTube and I have a challenge. So, welcome to the second episode of the 1000 Challenge. How I will get my first 1000th subscriber starting from scratch. I started three days ago and I got, let's see, 12, 12 subscribers and 130 views. Uh, is it a lot? Is it less? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. What I want to share today with you, it is how you can get and how I got my first subscribers. And if you think about it, it is the same process to how you can get your first clients, any business you run, uh, or your first followers in some other platform. What brought me my first 12 subscribers and my first 130 views, which I would say is not bad for a channel that had zero subscriber and zero videos upload. Now, let's think about that. Is it better to have a product and then uh, struggling in searching a client, in finding clients uh, there and then, thinking about all those marketing strategies and adjustment uh, just to grab your first clients, or, or the other opportunity, it can be to build first an audience. What is an audience, basically? An audience is people that they are interested in to listen to you. So, simple as that. So, what it is best? To have first the product and then the audience, or a smart idea can be to have first the audience and then the product. Let's say isn't totally true that I started from zero. I had, I had something, but we will go to that because the good news it is that every one of you has something to start with. In my case, my something, it was as each of you, friends and family, okay? Uh, everyone has uh, some close network uh, that can ask to subscribe and to start to have a watch your video. I think that's a good idea even for have some feedback from people that love you, that respect you and that they can give a really interesting point of view that maybe you didn't thought about them. Secondly, I had and I have quite a strong business network. People that I ne networked with in all those years. In my, in my case, I worked quite a lot in the gaming industry, so I attended uh, uh, exhibitions uh, and so on, and I have quite a, a strong LinkedIn uh, where I have uh, um, a good network of people. But I already started to put out content in other contexts. I had a startup where I was doing video uh, down the hashtag Danpa Journey. I already had a page in Facebook. I had a Twitter account. I had a LinkedIn account. I had it in personal life as a person, okay? And from the business point of view. Uh, so, for example, in Facebook, there is Danilo Patella Danpat. I'm working on building personal brand, but they didn't have the, the YouTube page. So YouTube, it was basically from zero. On top of that, I produce content around my, my passion, or my niche, with, which is rugby. Uh, I'm a rugby coach, so I'm really, really much into rugby and I have quite a, an interesting page on Facebook, Dampa Rugby, with 1,700 followers. I had again an Instagram account, a Twitter account on that and so all those assets, let's say, all those people which uh, are used to see me online, they were of course interested in uh, have a look. So. My thought on that, on the topics are, even in business, if you want to open, let's say, a new restaurant, what's the best way? And I let the, the, the question open. Is it better to choose the place, buy all the furniture and stuffs, uh, pay the rent and so on, and then start to look for your clients? Or it is better to have your audience already, already built before and then launch the product. I see the, the economy switching a lot in this second way of acting. First of all, I build my audience organically, 
paying, using all the tools that everyday internet is giving to us, and then I launched the product. So what was the result of that? Was it amazing? Was it a boom? No, it wasn't. But first 12 people subscribed the channel. We know that the, starting is really, really not easy. And they see even channels that has three, four, five, six subscribers for months uh, producing video. So one good idea can be to build first your audience and then launch the product. And now what's next? First of all, I have to say that uh, the first boost that can give you um, the, um, the leverage to have uh, others' uh, audiences, uh, others' uh, audiences in terms of topics and in terms of uh, uh, social media, so social platform, of course can help you at start. But then it is so important, from my point of view, to differentiate the type of contents and the type of um, language of the code that you are using in the different platform. Why? Because I want that my audience, that my follower who spend their time to listen to me will find something different. I don't want that uh, Jose who is listening to me on YouTube go in Facebook and find exactly the same things and then goes to Instagram and find exactly the same thing. No, it's not what I want. I want to deliver value to everyone in every different platform in a different way. I think that's very, very important. So of course you can use the leverage that you have at start to announce, to boost your first, uh, your first content. But then I don't suggest to repeat constantly, hey guys, I put out a video on YouTube, hey guys, I don't, it's not what I want to give to my, to my audience. First, tip that I will not use to the grow of this channel. At the end of the day, to make it really simple, the only strategy I will follow to grow up this channel, it is uh, to put out as much value as possible and just let you decide if you want to follow or not. Is it something interesting for you or not? Is it something bringing value for you or not? Simple as that. So, see you in the next video.